Uh, let's have an honest conversation now. Uh, you know, when the men chase the young girls, it's always a problem. But have you asked yourself why they do it? Uh, if we can give you some answers, you, you, it would give you the opportunity to work on something. So I've got Sarah, you know my usual friends. We do this once in a while. Sarah, Jawa, and Eugenia joining me. Uh, so thank you girls for making it again today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Only truth. Definitely. Has any married man chased you before? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I want to start with you. <laughs> what did they say? Oh. I mean, why did they come? Why did they do it? They won't tell you the reason why they do it. They are just interested in you. Just want to have you and be with you. So. Yeah. Do you ask them why? Yeah. No, no, I've never asked. Okay. No. Sandra? Yes, I asked them once, as in, like, why I thought your wife is there, and he was like, She's too busy, she's a doctor, so I just want someone that can be around me. We can go for meetings, my business programs, go on trips. It was extremely com convincing, very, very convincing. Yeah, but that's nice. I mean, go on trips. I mean, who, who doesn't want a holiday once in a while? You know? Travel somewhere, come back and tell your friends. I mean, you don't even have to come back. You can just take selfies and, <laughs> and send them and let them know. Okay, mm -hmm. Eugenia? Uh, yes, I almost such temptations. dated one. I almost dated one because he didn't come as a married man. Uh. He told me he wasn't married because he didn't have any ring on. Okay. And then while we were getting along, I realized um, we go out and then when it's around 9 p.m., he always wants to go home or maybe there's always someone calling him. So somewhere along the line, I asked him to just be frank with me and then he told me he's married, yes. But the wife is busy, like Sandra is saying. Uh, so he's just looking for someone to be hanging around with. Mm. But do you girls believe the busy story? <laughs> do you believe I it? don't believe it. I don't believe it. They are just in for something else. So. Mm. I just feel it's an excuse to cheat. It's just an excuse because... I'm a girl, and if you say your wife is busy, um, let's say I'm a woman, so I would understand. Maybe he just needs company, nothing major, but it's just something to convince you to be in it mm. with him, and then okay. he just cheated. Yeah. You say, uh, do, you, do you believe them? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think for that one, it's, it's not an excuse. They just it's just something they make up for you to just understand them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Really you, you, was there something you wanted to add? Um, they make it look so lucrative. You know, they'll <laughs> give you everything that's maybe your boyfriend or the small boys can't give you. So, exactly. You know, that's so the they, way. they make it look like it's a business. It's a proposal. So I'm giving it to you. Yeah. So, yeah. But some of them are really nice and they can be very genuine. Yeah. Yes. You know, like because if you have a wife who is not there. And he's even telling you things that he should be telling his wife. Mm -hmm. Like he's telling you about work and things like yeah. that. And you might want to feel sorry for them and be with them. That's yeah. the point. Yeah. That's the whole thing. To feel sorry and then, like, um, when I get home, I'm so tired. She's still not back from work. So where are you? Let's go grab dinner. And it's like you're with him, you're company. And yeah. you guys are talking, you're telling him about school. Then you get all comfortable. It's not as if he's maybe 45 no more he looks 25 to you now mm -hmm. so they just make it too nice you can't see yeah me most of the time but are they not cool sometimes <laughs> yeah, very cool. they are you're very fine. cool because you're fine you, you you don't ask and it will be given to you yeah. you don't ask it will be given to you you go to all the places maybe your regular normal boyfriend won't take you to exactly, yeah you know because what having they seen before that's what they'll tell you true you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they're very cool and you know the other cool thing is they are not petty mm -hmm. they are not in your face yeah. Good. i mean it's like they don't even have the time yeah, <laughs> so actually. when they have the time to spend with you they're not going into those little little things yeah. yes yeah yes yes and you see like the guy i was even talking about he was even like when you're prepared to get married i'll just let you go <laughs> but I, 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 I hear that often. There yes, are people yes, who, yes. It, so it's more like an, an agreement. Yes. And the, yes. Fi the people who parted ways like that, they sort you out okay. and you yes. go yes. your way. Yes. 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 Would you be cool with something like that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly, yeah, yes. The fact that he's married, that's a put off. Okay. Because I'm a lady too, so it, one day, what if it happens to me? Oh, yeah. Prayers, mm -hmm. you know. So, okay. so by this time, someone will be praying. 
against <laughs> you. So, you know, you just have to gauge those things. Yeah. So. But you have friends who are involved in, who yeah. are involved yeah. with yeah. 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 What do they say? Well, my friend's case was different. She didn't know he was married, and fortunately for her, the wife was outside. So it was like, they were cool. They went everywhere together. And one time she gets a text message from someone that, um, please, can we meet up and talk? All of a sudden, she was like, Sanja, do you want to come with me? Because I don't have a good feeling about this. So I called the person with my number, and she said her name. And then we just decided to put stuff together. And it happened that it was his wife, and she didn't, she didn't blame the girl. She was just thinking that maybe it's because she's most of the time outside. So she wanted to know what she's doing for him. Mm. That's making him so close to her. So she, she was just... She was feeling guilty. She was like, why should I be the one teaching you how to take so care you, of... So you guys met? They did. They oh. did. I didn't go. I didn't want okay. to go. So they met, and then they spoke about it, and she was like, she really wants him to help her. Um, That's weird, isn't you it? You know, and she was, like, she was like, okay, I can help you, but you just have to be there for him. I don't know mm. what I'm doing. He just calls me, and I'm free because I'm a student. I have lectures. Sometimes I don't. She was like, then could you just stop talking to him? When he calls you, could you not pick? Oh, it was sad. We we're just sitting there. And I was like, "Girl, I'm feeling for the girl. Just, just so stay what, away." So, what did your friend do? She, she just stayed away from him. And, and the guy stayed he back. Still calls. Oh, he, he still, still calls. He still calls. Yeah, he still calls. And he sends lots of money. So, it's hard to say <laughs> no. We, we share it evenly. Like, I don't go, but I get told. So, <laughs> I didn't know how to tell her, but I told her. Don't go if, if he calls you. Just don't meet him. Yeah. Yes, don't meet him because he wants to sort it out with his wife. So mm. just give that space. It's terrible. And they cry. The women really cry. Like she's begging you to stay away from her husband. It's but some, sometimes it's their fault, isn't it? Well, yes. You don't want to blame them at all, at all, at all? I blame some of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some of them just don't care. You see, some, some of you find out their husband is cheating. They don't care because they feel like they are the married woman, they are the one he's married mm. to. Because, and then the men, you see, I don't blame the girls that go into it because the men usually don't come as married men. Mm -hmm. I have a friend, <coughs> excuse me, the, the guy came, he didn't tell the lady that he's married, okay? So he started um, giving her that lavish lifestyle, giving her money, everything. And then somewhere along the line, the lady found out the man is married and she couldn't. She couldn't, yes, she, could, yeah, she couldn't pull out from the relationship. Oh, she was uh -huh. so used to everything that she was getting. Oh, yes, God. yes. She couldn't pull out. So now my friend is married, though, and the man was even, he even sponsored uh, yeah, the wedding. Okay. He was wow. at the wedding, yes. Oh, he was at the wedding. Yes. That's a very brave man. <laughs> yes. But are you sure they've cut off every link? For that, I cannot tell. Uh -huh. <laughs> because that's always very difficult. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you get so used to it, you're too comfortable, mm -hmm. and you can't let go. Yes, true. You know? But don't we genuinely also like them sometimes? We genuinely like them. We do. Honestly. Because it, it, they make it look like a business, you know, I will take care of you. And it's not as if they are just saying it, they are doing it. They are taking care of you. They will come when it's 1 o'clock a.m. Yeah. They will come. I've had a situation like that. They will come when it's 1 o'clock a.m. I don't know how they find themselves out at that time while their wife is around. <laughs> they will come. Home. You see, but your a regular boy won't come around at 1 a.m. Really? Like, I need to rest, so... It's, but then it's who doesn't nice. like someone who's honest? Mm. They're real with you. They're honest with you. Oh, <laughs> They're honest with you. That's role I'm trying to make <laughs> fair in our conversation. He's telling you what's happening. He's telling you how he made it. He's telling you he likes a girl like you. Someone, someone who's ambitious. Outspoken. Someone who, who's outspoken. Someone who can... And be be herself everywhere, no mm. matter where she is. And then you like that you're liking him for him being himself. Yeah. And just along the line, you find out he's married. Sometimes he even comes as a married man, and he's just like, oh, he's my friend, nothing major. But then you fall for him, mm. and it's huge. Cause yeah. I have, I've fallen for one before, and you had to pull away. No, you know yeah. I have. You have to. No, you have to pull away, cause yeah. you just know. And, and the funny thing was. Then he makes his wife and kids his DP. <laughs> and I was like, you see? You see? So uh, you know, you're you're, you're, you're getting you're jealous. jealous. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you realize, then you're really liking him, so you have to pull away gradually. It's, because it's, you know that he's not yours. Yes. No matter yes. what you yes. do. Yes. 
Mm. Yes. Let's invite in some some phone calls. Uh, you can call us on 0302 or 0302 -211 This is an honest conversation. We're not, we're, we're, we're not insulting anybody. I have the power to cut you if I feel that's what you're up to. Um, so if you feel your man is doing something, I don't know, these girls will be able to tell you if he's doing somebody on the side or not. Uh, and we, we actually also want to explore the why they do it. Uh, but you've told me that you usually wouldn't ask why. No. But they will tell you the busy, busy is yeah. like key. The women are busy. Yeah. Yes. But listen, the truth is you're in school, so you have a lot of time on your hands. Yes. Or you're yeah. probably doing your national service. You yes. have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is married, a married woman is probably working, has got kids. There's pressure. There's a lot of things. So you can't be there like every time for the man yeah do you think young girls understand this that there's a difference you know when you're just a a young single girl and when when you are married but hang on let me speak to james and then i'll let you answer that mm -hmm. hello james good morning hello james hi james yeah, hello, 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 yes, James, I can hear you, but turn down the volume on your TV set so we can have, you know, an easy flow conversation. Please turn down the volume on your TV set when you give me a call on 0302-211-69102. Unfortunately, I lost you, James, but please do call back. Okay, so who would start answering that question for me? Okay, I would. Hmm. Um... Honestly, I never viewed it from how you just made it look like it was just like she's just too busy to be there for her husband. Mm. But I think it's true when you're married, it's a whole lot of responsibility that you have to take care of. And um, your husband is one, but it's like the whole family. So you can't single him out as the only person. There are kids, mm. there's the house to run. Yeah. and. I'm a young girl, I'm in school, sometimes I have lectures, sometimes I have free days, so I can always be there, but when you're married, you need to cook, you need to make sure everyone has Essentially, everything. Essentially, things change. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Let me just speak to Patrick, who's joining us from one, and we'll continue. Okay. Hello, Patrick, good morning. Oh, Patrick, are you there? Okay, I lost you. Apologies. Uh, you can give us a call, 302 Six nine one o oh, two. Okay. Do you see that there's a difference, Jawa? Yeah, there's a vast difference. Cause I'm in school. I have lots of time on my hands. You know, my time is scheduled, so I know when to do this, and so I can fix my man in if I'm going out with him. Mm. I can fix him in. But this is the t the case. The married woman has a whole lot of things to do. You know, sometimes when they get married, they get essentially religious. So that's when they'll be going to church. <laughs> And you know all the church prayers and all that they will involve themselves in, so they won't have time for their husbands like that. Mm. And you know, honestly, I've not viewed it from that point before, but that's the truth. Mm. I just realized that's let the me, truth. Let me speak to Sai. I'll come to you specifically to give the married women like us the <laughs> advice. You seem to have a lot of things. Sai, good, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Let's hear you. Well, uh, I wouldn't blame the girl. Hmm. I will blame with the boy or the man. Sure. You know that you are married. Sure. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have fallen in love with your wife before you got married. Uh -huh. And how come that you see another girl somewhere and then you are... I mean, you want to get to her. Allow her to grow so that you also get her own husband and then marry. Hmm. Look, there's a saying, uh, you know, I look at that letter. Jealousy for the men, <laughs> but they just have taken that one. What you wouldn't think, never allow it to go out somewhere. But for somebody to experience, sure. I get more. Mm -hmm. yeah. If someone does that to your wife, you will be, you'll be serious. You wouldn't take it easy. Okay. How do you want to do that to someone's wife or girlfriend? Mm. Sure. That's my point. Yeah, and we appreciate your point. Thank you so much for calling. Let's hear from Jonas next. Hello, Jonas. Thanks for calling. Yeah, Jonas from Super Radio. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello, Jonas. You're on air. We can hear you. Oh, okay. I just want to advise my sisters. It might not be their fault. I blame the men, the married men who proposed to them. 
But I also want to advise them that uh, any time they realize it, they should quickly pull out. Because some of us young guys, um, as soon as we see things like that, we wouldn't want to go on because we believe that even after the marriage, it is difficult for you to break up if mm. you are in a, you're actually in love with the other guy or mm. with that married man. So we advise ourselves as soon as we see anything like that. So oh. please, uh, they, if you are not married, they should be careful. All right. Jonas, thank you very much for the advice. I've got no work, but God knows Billy says, and this is on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash show news on TV. Oh, Mama V, you're not being fair to us, the men. <laughs> At least you should have brought one guy to the studio to tell our side of the story. <laughs> you heard me earlier engage Roland. I wanted to pull him in this conversation. He's being like, holy, 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 holy. <laughs> so I let him. Okay. Uh, but you think that there are some contradictions here? Uh, men are not bad, you say. It's ladies that make us so. <laughs> but I won't do that to my Rosina, babe. I hope that you stay true to that. Uh, and for God knows, Billy. Thanks for the message. Mark Blessing Senior says, it depends on the situation leading to that. Uh, Gabriel Nanampomsa says, could be both. Some men are just greedy and womanizers, true. hence they can't be with one woman. Uh, some women also do not perform their duties well, hence it pushes us away to explore. He uses the word explore. explore. <laughs> so they, they explore with young girls. Okay. Uh, stylish Lukman says, I will blame myself. Okay. All right. So who do you blame uh, when, uh, you know, side chicks come into the issue in your relationship? Uh, do you blame the man? Do you blame the woman? Do you blame... Uh, you know, the young girls who are involved in this in some instances. Um, Eugenia, there are times that you fall in love with a married man. I mean, falling in love is not easy. Yeah. You kind of really like the guy. You know he's married, but you can't help yourself. Do you have any friend, you know, who's fallen into that situation? Yes, yes, yes. I have a friend like that. Well, um, the, the friend I'm talking about, uh -huh. They started dating. She didn't know the man was married. And then he was so good, so she fell for the man. And so they, they were like friends. You see, uh -huh. so she, she fell in love with the guy, and it was difficult to pull up. And then later she met, she met someone she was supposed to get married to, and then she's married. I don't know if they are. They've broken up the rule, but she, I know she fell in love with the man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's hard. Yeah. Um, Jawa, you seem to have some kind of advice. For women and I like that a lot because and it's good that we hear from you because some women you know some women will sit down and cry and they will say I haven't done anything I do everything <laughs> and they don't know that there are little little things that perhaps they're doing that's maybe pushing the men away so I like it when you come from that point of view yes Eugenia okay and the man I'm talking about we used to go out together because he was dating my friend he was very friendly he was like um, when he got married to his wife for some time now his wife has become like his sister so sometimes the woman, how you treat, how you used to be with a man when you were dating, when they get married, they change. Sometimes they think like, well, now I have him, so they relax. Maybe he used to dress, he used to see you exactly. dressed up and all that, yeah. And then you relax on that. But the young girls are always mm -hmm. looking good, uh huh. So I think you should put, you should just True. make an effort. You see, sometimes when they, they give birth, they become so big and then they just leave things mm -hmm. like but that. Yeah, <laughs> Well, for me, I've advised myself from that. So when I get married, I know how to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not only to the women. The advice is not only to the women. It's mm. also to the men, okay? So when you met me, you know it's natural. When I give birth, I will either lose a little weight. Some people, too, will just gain so much weight. And then you have to know that times change. You know, the world, everything is changing. So you have to know that your wife is not taking care of only you right now. She's taking care of the kids, she's running the house, maybe she's been promoted in her workplace. She's, she has a whole lot of things to do, so you have to understand her too. So it's not only to the women, mm. the men too, please. Advise yourself and stay cool for us. Have you, haven't you seen, you know, like a man who, who is chasing other women? And then when you see the wife, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you your do wife that? So many wow. times. <laughs> so many yes. times. I, I, I feel there's a bit of attitude, honestly. You see, um, like Jawa was saying earlier, it's, it's, it's a communication process. Before we got married, we were talking like friends. And now we're married and the thing is just dying. Mm. So you tell her, hey, I want you to wear that short. You remember that black one you had? 
Good. So now we're talking. I'm looking sexy for you. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. He's not going to look at some other girl. But then it's like um, she's in this gown and she's clipped one under her <laughs> armpit. And no, he's not interested in that. He's going to drive past some girl mm. who's wearing some tight skinnies and then he's going to call her. Yeah. Good. So now it, it has to work in that sense. We have to communicate would have to be a team it's mm. teamwork that's what my mommy told me that marriage is teamwork so if daddy is not telling me i wouldn't know maybe i feel i'm doing the right thing mm. so we have to do this together yeah that's 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 my whole advice it, would you help your mom for instance to be on track because sometimes you need somebody to prompt you yeah, yeah. would you tell your mom eugenia yes i will <clears throat> well i had an auntie i was living with and then his husband was cheating. My auntie didn't know, but I found out because I knew the lady. So I had to speak to my auntie. I knew some of the things she was doing that was making the man go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I spoke to her, I advised her. I didn't really tell her directly that her man is cheating, but yeah. then I spoke to her indirectly about it. So what were some of the things that you felt she wasn't doing right? Okay, the man was living outside Accra. Okay. So he used to come around during weekends. He, the man is in Kufuria. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So when he goes there during the weekdays, sometimes he wants the woman to come there, mm -hmm. but she wouldn't go. She was, she'll be like, I want to take care of the kids. I want sure. to be here. And then sometimes when the man comes around too, he only comes on Sundays. But sometimes when he comes around, the way he, she would treat him, at least if it's only on Sunday, she just give him a good treat, a special, uh -huh. treat. A special treat. But then she wouldn't do that. Sometimes she'll just ignore the man and all that so i spoke to her she has to be she listened very, yeah she listened okay she listened. so have things changed yeah yeah things have changed a lot but yeah. did you ever confront the the, the, the lady uh, the lady i didn't confront <laughs> her but then um sometimes i would meet her in town with my sisters and you would just give her some kind of <laughs> look <and so> she <laughs> <knows>. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but java would you help mommy be on track i mean if you felt she was letting go of course I would help mommy because I am like this type of my father so you know I know he tells me everything sometimes I feel guilty yeah. you know that so I just try to talk to her do this you know when sometimes you they have cars when the cars come just relax when he's cool down you talk to him this way sure. this is what he likes so do it this way don't do it this way does and she then, listen oh of course okay. of course she does does she, she get does. jealous sometimes and Hmm. Well, I think that would be another topic for us to explore. Yeah. Don't go there. <laughs> Sandra, would you help your mom? Yes, I would. Um, Daddy had this girl one time, some woman B, he said, oh, she's my friend. And she was so nice to me. I didn't like it. So um, I, I, I just had a feeling that something was going on. And I didn't want to think that way. But she just called me, hey, are you home? Eh, have you eaten? Then she'll go and spread me. And when I bring him, I'm like, eh, hey, that woman, I don't like her. I don't like. So I told her that if daddy wants to go out at this time and you just tell him that I'm tired, he's definitely going to go with her. Mm -hmm. So you should. And she said, I'm tired. Eh, I'm tired from work. I'll just tell, okay, I'll take care of the house. So you guys will just go out. So they made it this rule every 24th December to go out live band and i think it started working now okay. it, they were happier so sometimes we would have to help our moms yeah, yeah. definitely definitely i would love to have all you as daughters oh. you know, to keep me on track <laughs> uh, but thank you don't do married men oh, okay no. if they don't, okay so. they come as married men no but if yeah. they don't come they as married men okay. you know, yeah. they don't come as married men so you know you just fall in the yeah, trap but the, but you know it was it jonas the moment you find out make sure you you okay. knock it off yeah, true, yeah? True, promise true. promise promise Speaking. okay all right <laughs> so this is it some of the men have approached them they're telling us from their point of view if you like listen if you like don't listen but it's happening you might want to check yourself uh, and but most importantly please pray i believe in prayer but thank you girls sandra jawa and eugenia for yes. always being honest we hope that you've loved uh, this conversation it's continuing on facebook lots of messages let me try and at least read two before we go uh, this one from Pascal says, our young ladies love money and so they prefer those who can pay more 
our young ladies <laughs> look down upon the young men <laughs> just because we can afford to throw money on them mm -hmm. okay that's your view uh let's see can i get another one kutina Cero says hmm i think both you and your partner are to blame if your partner is going out with another person means you're not meeting his demands get the conversation continuing on facebook.com for slash join news on tv i'll make way for roland walker he's got talk next time we'll do an all men panel if they promise me they will go all out why not we will do it stay with us we've got am talk coming your way